Welcome to Accelerate Performance Lab's official relaunch of our most popular episode series, Short Shorts. In this series, we interview the nation's top runners in a quick-hitting interview format where they only have four minutes to answer a list of questions. The questions range from serious to lighthearted. We thought it was only fitting in this relaunch to interview our very first guest on the show, Nate Mueller. Nate Mueller is a five-time state champ and two-time Drake Relays champ, boasting personal best in high school of 856 in the two-mile, or 3200. Nate's also ran 810 in a college 3K and was named Big 12 All-Conference in the steeplechase. Without further ado, here's my interview with Nate Mueller. Nate, what are you doing in Maryville? Why are you in this this dinky dorm room? For the for the viewers, this is probably not going to be a staple in this uh, dorm room, but it's it'll make do for now. Why are you here? This is my next home, so I'll be here in the fall. Um, yeah, big deal for sure. I'm super excited to like train with you next year. Like yeah. for real, it's going to be so much fun. Um, oh, yeah. It's going to be super helpful to the team, and I think first of many is big recruits out of Iowa. Sure. Just out of the country, so we're excited to have you. Uh, what made you like decide Northwest? Um, I think just coach. Um, obviously, uh, coach just believing in me, and um, I think me and him kind of built a relationship through phone calls, and and then also just uh, already knowing some of the guys on the team like you, uh, Drew Ryan, and getting to know you guys. I think, um, and obviously Reed Smith. Just all the guys on the team, I think, um, I built relationships with, and you know, I kind of just knew that this is where I wanted to be. Um, and you guys are also building something really special right now. Um, and so I think, you know, it's just something I really wanted to be a part of. So I'm pumped. Yeah, yeah. And I know you steepled at Iowa State a little bit. <coughs> uh, and we, we got Reese, like, national champ of the steeplechase. Is that partially yeah. your your decision to come here? I don't know, do you want to continue to steeple? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I have potential to steeple. Yeah. I've only ran it twice, so I think that event comes with just a lot of experience and more racing. Um, and so, yeah, I think wherever the team needs me to run, yeah. um, I'll be ready, so. Yeah, DMR's looking pretty spicy for next year as well. Yeah. That should be, yeah, that should yeah. be exciting. Yeah. Uh, big goals for that, but, um, also, what are you doing? What are you wearing? Why, why do you have an inside-out jacket? What is this? Uh, I don't know. That's just, <laughs> that's just the way God made you. <laughs> it's just the way God made you. I, I, yeah, that's for sure. You're, you're a weird one. Uh, in a good way, in a good way. You gotta be weird, you know? Right. So, alright, we won't get too, too deep into conversation here before we start the short shorts. But, I believe Ben had a three-minute time limit. Um, I might one up him and go four minutes okay. just because I'm like that. Are we doing? Uh, those are the quick questions. Yes, those are the quick questions. So I have the list here. Okay. We ran over them pretty quickly, but so they'll be quick. I don't know how many seconds. I'm not good at math like that, but only have we like five seconds or per question or something. So without further ado, we will start the timer. All right. So Nate, what inspired you to run competitively? Um, being good at it. Yeah. <laughs> like when I was younger. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what's your pre-race ritual or routine? Music, Panera bread. What's your order at Panera? Uh, mac and cheese. <laughs> okay, all right. And a baguette. <laughs> carbs and carbs. <laughs> I guess that's what it takes. Uh, favorite race distance? Um, mile 3K. Yeah, yeah. Steeple? Is that steeple on the list? The number three? Yeah, that's three. Okay. Uh, maybe when you come home with a national runner-up behind the yeah. then then it'll be out there. <laughs> uh, how do you deal with pre-race nerves? Music, um, preparing properly. Yeah. Kind of takes that away, just knowing all the work you put in. I like it. Pre-race song on the topic of music? Drake. Every Drake Anything song. from Drake? You like his new album? All of it. <laughs> okay, alright. Uh, what's your proudest moment as a runner? This one I'm interested in. I think 
Um, maybe in high school it was probably sub nine, and then in college, maybe conference steeple or my eight ten three k. Okay. But yeah, I haven't raced a whole bunch. So. Yeah, hopefully we'll Northwest or you'll be racing in green uh, when your proudest moment happens. But uh, most important lesson you've learned from running, whether it's from a coach or yourself. Um, patience because it's not a sport where everything happens overnight so probably just patience I like it yeah. uh, is there anyone in particular who you learned that from just yourself myself yeah <laughs> uh, what's your favorite workout or training session repeat thousands probably okay that's gross what's your least favorite <laughs> um <laughs> you don't? I don't know. You just like the grind? I just love it. <laughs> All right. What motivates yeah. you to keep pushing when it gets tough? Talking about the grind. Um, I think when you prepare properly and put the work in beforehand, then that makes it really hard to quit. Yeah. It makes it a lot harder to quit when you're in that moment. Um, when you don't have anything to fall back on, then you quit more easily. Yeah, you've had a little bit of downtime now. What's motivating you, even though maybe preparation isn't there? Yeah, well, it's still there, just yeah. knowing what's coming up, but um, just reaching my potential. Yeah, I think not reaching my potentials, that's kind of scares me and also pushes me. I really like yeah. the, the quote by uh, Jordan Peterson. The real hell is the difference, is where you actually know your full potential and you see where you are now. Yeah. Um, what advice would you give to someone just starting out running? Jeez. Have fun. Yeah. Have fun. Because I know that's what I've been doing and that's what I did when I was younger. And I think it worked out. So just have fun. Yeah. Any advice on how to have fun, even when it sucks? Try to win. <laughs> okay. Win, win, winning helps. But, um, <laughs> I don't know, yeah, just don't take it too seriously because it's just sport. Okay. Last question. What's next for you in your running career? I'm going to be a Bearcat next fall, um, and I'm excited to get on campus and you know start. I know we have some really big goals and lofty goals, so just getting to work on those. Yeah, I love uh, it. I love it. Well, four minutes on the dot. You hit it. 402. Hopefully that's uh, my mile PR next year. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, what are you laughing about? All right. Well, we appreciate you having uh, or being on the show today. Um, any questions you kind of want to, like, put a bow on? I think um, what inspires me was kind of brief. Like, there's a lot more to that. Just yeah. my family, um, parents, um, and then seeing other runners <clears throat> do what they're doing. Um, whether that's friends, old teammates, um, yeah. Yeah, there's a few people who reached out to me uh, when they saw you committed. I know it was not super public, like this is the most yeah. public thing, but they kind of figured out that you were coming to Northwest and they were asking about your story. Um, not to share any specifics or anything. Yeah. Uh, what helped you? I think a lot of people are going through their own little tough time or whatever or they, they will be in the future what what advice would you give them um, in order to like stay mentally strong stay focused and stay on like right path yeah I think um, yeah there's a lot of talk lots to talk about about that but just um, keeping the main thing the main thing um, and getting a good support group around you because uh, being alone is like the worst thing um, you know, you gotta stay close to your family and um, just surround yourself with the right people. And yeah, and I think um, you know, and maybe I think when it when it's time for me to like fully come out and tell my story, because I know um, there's been rumors or you know people have talked about you know why is Nate you know not at Iowa State? Why is he taking a gap year? Um, I think you know maybe even me and Ben will hop on and yeah we can fully like, dive into that. Um, Cause I know that I can, with what I've been through, I can help a lot of people that are, you know, going through the same thing or whatever. 
Um, and so, yeah, that's maybe for another day when, yeah. when I'm ready to, you know, fully, fully uh, tell my story. Um, but no, yeah, just getting a good support group around you. And, yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of people looked up to you. You were that guy in high school. I mean, <laughs> uh, and people were looking up to you. Uh, and they were kind of, they were just excited for you, really. Yeah. When they saw, like, Nate's on the come up. Like, he's 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 back at it, and mm -hmm. he's in a better place now. So, yeah. there's a lot of people rooting for you out there. And I, I sure. know a lot of the kids in Accelerate, like, reaching out to me and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're happy to hear, awesome. have you here. And hopefully we'll have you on in a couple months or whatever, when you have a couple national titles or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me, bro.